hey guys and welcome to today's video so in today's video we're going to be discussing top-down analysis from an institutional perspective using the ict concept so by the end of today's video you should be able to understand how the institutions deliver price from the buy side to the sell side on a day-to-day to a week-to-week -week basis and you can go about implementing that in your trading to find high probability trading setups so in my own opinion for you to be able to understand and implement um top the analysis effectively using the ICT concept from an institutional perspective. There are a few things I believe you should have at the back of your mind, a few opinions or ideas that you should have back in you. And one of them should be you want to be able to focus on a minimum of three or more time frames. I believe some of us already know that by now that you at least so a lot of us already know we need to focus on a minimum of three. But none of us, not every one of us rather, know that we need to focus on more. Like if you want to really understand the in-depth workings of price, you want to focus on more. So, but let's just start from the basics. You want to focus on a minimum of three. So that will be the highest of the time frame, the intermediate time frame, and your execution time frame. So you want to have your higher time frame, your intermediate time frame, and the execution time frame. So the next thing you want to focus on, you want to outline the available PDRAs on the buy side and on the sell side. So once you've identified your three time frames you want to be working with the first time frame which is be your highest time frame you want to see and pay attention to the available pdras on the buy side on the sell side relative to the current market price so you want to identify the buy side and sell side liquid areas of liquidity which are pdras now when we talk about pdras for the benefit of those who don't know it we're talking about other blocks we're talking about fair value gaps liquidity void mitigation block breaker block and the rest of it so you ought to be able to identify that on the buy side and on the sell side from the current market price and the last but not the least is you want to finally identify the institutional order flow so once you're able to identify the pdras you want to see what institutional order flow is from the buy side to the sell side and from the sell side to the buy side and then you can be able to frame your high probability trading setups so let's see some examples to be able to drive this home so here on the screen right here is actually a markup i had from last week so this was a markup i've already done pyro before last week candle actually printed out so this red candle you can see here on the chart is last week um candle that printed out but long before it printed out we had this blue candle weak rejection to the sell side and before that also we had this um weak rejection to the buy side and also this equal loss so you can see the line outlined right there and that was the equal loss i was aiming for now this line right here was the weekly ce which was weekly consequence encroachment and also on this buy side right here we had weekly consequence encroachment right there that was this line out right here then this um blue line is the daily fair value gap and that's high right there is the body of that candle. So we're going to be dropping down to um, the daily time frame. So I actually start my my highest time frame is actually the weekly time frame. So I focus on the weekly, the daily, and the one hour. My say you only focus on a minimum of three. So I start my analysis from the weekly. I look at the daily for my intermediate time frame, and I focus on the one hour for my execution. And I can refine that into even into lower time frames for precise entries. So um that's what you can see right here we can see us starting the analysis right here on this particular um time frame you can see as i outlined all the weekly areas right there so um based on the screenshots the why we have a daily fair value gap right here is because of this was a screenshot at the end of the week uh, after the whole market has played out so that's why you can see that particular daily fair value gap right there but let's just drop down move to the next slide this is right here is the daily chart and you can see we have the daily fair value gap that's this is that particular fair value gap that was showing clearly from the um weekly time frame that is it right there so you can see we outline that right there this is that weekly consequence encroachment to the buy side and this is a weekly consequence encroachment to the sell side and this is that equal loss on the sell side so this was friday's trading this particular candle the market closed um bearish on that friday so we can see when the market opened on monday mind you this is one two three four and five so this is five days worth of trading which signifies one week worth of trading so mind you we started our analysis from the weekly time frame i will transpose it all the way to the daily time frame and now this is where we are going to be looking to pay attention to how price reacts to each of this level mind you i told you the ways you want to follow and the things you want to have in the back of your mind is you want to have 
a focus on a minimum of three time frames you want to be able to um, identify your pdrs correctly on the buy side on the sell side uh, relative to the current market price so you can see here the price close on this low I identify on the buy side my weekly consequence encroachment I identify on the sell side my weekly consequence encroachment level which is the mean threshold of the weekly rejection candles you understand so we can see when the market opened right here on Monday we can see the way the market traded into where into that consequence encroachment line right you can see the way the market traded into that place from the daily chart we can see that we had this bullish candle opened gapped right here and all the way was attracted there was a draw of liquidity all the way to this particular consequence encroachment right here and if we wanted to refine it further we could actually see that there's actually an order block right here so price traded to that particular mean threshold on the daily time frame but just this sticking with the weekly time frame analysis uh because um i'm a short term day trader so i'm focusing on cashing short term um to day trades so that's why i'm not so bothered about refining it so um down into some daily time frames unless if need be so um just ignore um that i didn't mark up this particular um other block just pretend like i did so you can see our price also traded for precision into that particular um daily order block right there and you can see from that um, point on we can see all the way the momentum push to the sell side coming to where the weekly consequence encroachment level on the way on the sell side so you can see our price move from the buy side and to the sell side and this is all institutional order flow so the three things minimum of three time frames pdra's identification and studying to identify institutional order flow how price trade from buy side to sell side or sell side to buy side liquidity depending on where you are as current price you don't want to see you can see prior before the week close you can see the momentum push past this weekly consequence encroachment aiming for this particular um equal lows right here on the sell side now for clarity this is where we need the execution time frame which is going to be the one hour and as you can see the one hour you can see the weekly consequence encroachment actually stands out right there um we have the daily fair value gap where price is trading from right there and that particular line and right here this is the weekly consequence encroachment here on the sell side this is the weekly consequence encroachment on the buy side now this was where markets closed on friday you can see the gap in price and a draw of liquidity to this particular weekly consequence encroachment and you can see the moment price um, entered that particular zone you can see that there was a reaction in price all of a sudden price sold aggressively to the sell side now this is where you want to be careful to start paying attention to institutional order flow now for you to be able to identify institutional order flow in the marketplace there are three things you want to focus on number one is you want to focus on where the point of origin is and that's what your pdr is going to help you identify like in this case this weekly consequence encroachment where price first draw to on monday you want to say signifies to us okay if we see price trade away from this particular area then that becomes our point of origin and what do we see we see going forward into tuesday we saw a displacement in price so the second thing you want to identify when looking out for institutional flow is displacement in price so after you've identified your point of origin you want to see what's the whether there's a displacement in price from that particular level and that's what we had right here we saw a displacement in price to the sell side right there now after a displacement in price the last but not the least you want to focus on when looking out for institutional order flow is you want to see the willingness of price to start respecting one side of the market and start taking the other side now in this case we have a displacement in price to the sell side so we want to see price starts respecting buy side liquidity but start taking out sell side liquidity and you can see the moment price retrace here we had a run on liquidity so some of you may be like okay that's a break of structure no you need to pay attention you need to be very careful because this is an impulse drive to the sell side right here so you this can just be a simple liquidity run and mind you this is not an impulse move above that high that's just a weak true move so price just cleaned that particular high and started falling you can see all the way price started clearing and attacking lows attacking lows attacking lows attacking this low even eventually so you can see all these lows were being attacked and buys um highs were being respected buy side liquidity were being respected you can see all these buy side liquidity on this particular area they were being respected so you can see how this top-down analysis helps us to be able to identify high probability trading setup so just take for instance you saw this particular whole thing panning out here you wait for this displacement in price you had a retracement all the way to the buy side right there that is your entry a run on this particular liquidity 
this is where you want to start applying um things like the ict silver bullet and the rest this is where you want to start and find um applying london session q zone new york session, um, session q zone once you're able to do this particular top down analysis this is when all these particular session and q zones and ict silver bullet actually come to play and actually make sense i don't get it now but without that you can actually um without going through this process of top down analysis that won't be possible you get it now so if you want to understand more about institutional that flow i'll be leaving the link to that in somewhere around this video and also in the description so if you want to understand more about institutional that flow the white tickets you are going to be able to see that in that particular video so without further ado i want us to see a particular live example in real-time charts with current market price at the time of this recording this 24th of october 2023 so i'm going to go into live chat example and i'm going to show you some trades that i'm currently running on right now using this so right here on the chat this is a nasdaq nq um on the one hour time frame you can see i'm outlined here this the entry and that's the target i'm aiming for so currently i'm on this particular trade and um, price has not actually got into the target so price is still moving all the way to that area for those of you wondering i want proofs i'll go to my other broker and you're going to see the trades that i'm on so you can see the trades i'm currently on right there so these are the trades i'm currently on right there you can see my orders right there this is what i'm expecting to target and this is where i have my stop loss right there so let's go back to the previous charts and try to see the idea so mind you i told you i have three time frames i'm looking out for so i start my analysis from the weekly time frame so um if i let's drag this um back properly um let's see if i could extend this properly so you can see this is the markup i have right here so if let me remove um this right here um let me try and clear the chart a little so this is how the chart looks like before this week this is this new week printing currently you can see that price is actually moving if you can pay attention properly you see that price is printing currently so before this week started printing i'd already optimized all these areas in price and one of the things i optimized was one of the um, areas i optimized was um this particular um equal lows i optimize this equal lows to the sell side because mind you i say you want to identify um once you already know your time frames you want to be working with the next thing you want to focus on the pdras um on the buy side on the sell side relative to the current market price so one of the things i identified was this particular um equal lows right here this was this equal lows that price did not um get to in the previous week so the other thing i identified was this particular order block right here this a particular order block right there you can see the way price traded engulfing this particular candle the year becomes an order block and we also have the mean threshold of that particular order block so price can decide to trade to that particular area right there so um this is the open price this is the equal lows i was expecting price to trade to so this was what i had on my buy side and on my sell side liquidity so on the sell side i was anticipating this equal lows and I actually also outlined more outlined this um area right here and also um this particular fair value gap so in, in case price wants to run because mind you are trading the nasdaq and anything can happen and when trading futures markets market can decide to rally aggressively one direction so i wanted to be more cautious and proactive so i itemize this particular fair value gap this also equal lows right here also was also on my playlist and i was looking at that in time then if price wants to go aggressively and reverse then it's going to ultimately attack this particular high but that was not part of my plan i wasn't looking to stay too long to see if price um is going to attack that particular high or this particular area in price which is the body of this candle so this was the playbook i had in mind good so we dropped down to the um, intermediate time frame which was the daily and all of a sudden the market started printing the market started printing you can see market opened on monday right here and gapped up then also they started printing down aggressively and you can see the way price ran this equal lows on the sell side and rejected right there so the moment this rejection was happening i was already anticipating a institutional order flow in terms of displacement because here now starts acting as our point of origin here now starts serving as our point of origin so the moment i saw this rejection i knew that I was expecting and anticipating something like a displacement in price and where was i going to see that that was where the execution time frame comes into mind so i was going i dropped down to the execution time frame right there and here we have 
we had our particular displacement so this is the displacement we had in price this whole push to the buy side right here you can see price started rallying up earlier on then when the market stock market opened you can see the run on raid on liquidity right there some people can could see that as brick of structure but that's not a brick of structure that's a manipulation in price you can see a run all the way to the buy side now why does this whole push up serve as a displacement because this is the structure that price broke in terms of this whole displacement so if i calculate this whole push in terms of bodies to the sell side you can see that's 1732 and if i calculate um this whole push to the buy side that is about 3156 and if you divide that that will give you about one point seven or one point six and mind you, i told you for a range to qualify as a displacement it must be 1.5 times or two times the range or structure that was broken so that's why here qualifies as a displacement so all i was waiting for was i was waiting for price to retrace where to this particular other block now this is why i talk about you want to focus on more mind you, i told you earlier i focus on three weekly daily and one hour but when you want to um refine your entries sometimes you need to include more and this is where i brought in the four hours because the four hours was what actually helped me get into this particular trade so on the four hours we can see that we have sell candles here which acts as series of down close candle which serves as other block so we can see this whole push to the buy side this momentum candle engulfing this whole sell candles so these were all other blocks for me so all i did was i drew out this particular area in time I drew this particular area in time so the moment price was dropping into that area all i was waiting for was to enter positions you get what i'm saying and where was i looking to exit i was looking to exit above this particular high now the question is why did i pick this particular high mind you if you go back to the intermediate time frame um let me bring this back so excuse me so if, I, if you go back to this particular intermediate time frame right here you can see that we have a fair value gap here even on the daily and this particular shaded area right here is actually a weekly time frame order block right there this is a weekly time frame order block so that's why i'm looking out to get out at this particular fair value gap just above this particular high and that's the setup you can see um playing out right here so i have my exits above that high right there i had my entry around this zone right here so if you go back to this um previous this other charts right here you're going to see that i'm aiming for that particular high so if you drop down for the one hour you see it clearly because i showed you from the one hour perspective so you can see that these are those highs and they're actually equal highs even on the one hour so the lot of confluence that is drawing pr and price to this particular level we have equal highs on the one hour we have fair value gap on the daily you don't want to say and we have a weekly order block which is that particular shaded area so price will first draw into this particular um daily time frame fair value gap before getting into this particular weekly order block right there so um to show that i optimize this before it played out i'm going to bring out my markup um which is the nasdaq weekly markups and you can see that all i said was what i outlined right here you can see this is week i i named it weekly equal lows this is the daily low so i actually optimize the daily low also i optimize the weekly the daily fair value gap the weekly order block because they kind of overlap with each other and even the weekly um order block mean threshold right there so you can see if i go back to the weekly you can see that's the weekly um order block mean threshold right there so and if i zoom here you can see the extra weekly low fair value gap that the price wanted to push aggressively to the sell side i'll be aiming to see how i can frame setups within those particular area so you can see how i frame the setup just using this particular top-down analysis so if you have any question or something you want me to really explain you can leave your thoughts in the comment section if you found value into this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you really don't understand or maybe i went over something too fast i recommend you watch this video twice to be able to understand everything i said and atomize properly so until next time see you in future videos